How uh, have have you been on any <laughs> bad dates? Because you told some stories to me <laughs> <Yeah>. of like <laughs> of you showing up to a date and them dropping some bombs on you. Yes, you like, want that story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to TLDR it. So because I have this thing with stories where like if I tell it at full, I'm telling it at full. Mm -hmm. Essentially, um, I matched with this guy on a certain app, and. This oh yeah, was, you yeah. use dating apps. You Not anymore. Dating apps. Right. The okay in the past when I tried to use them, I got banned off of every single <laughs> one. So this time specifically, I was like, I want to try a dating app specifically meant for like Middle Easterns because I'm Moroccan and I've never mm. really dated someone who's Middle Eastern. So I was like, let's let's see what this would be like. Maybe we'll have some cultural similarities. Maybe we'll connect on that. So I downloaded this app called Baklava. <laughs> Which, like, the app's not bad, but it was fine. And I specifically, like, I made everything so sus, so no one would, like, know right away that it's me. Mm -hmm. I used photos I'd never posted before. I <laughs> I used photos where, like, you can't fully see me. Like, I'm hiking, and it's, like, the back of my head or whatever, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get, like, immediately yeeted off the app like I usually do. Because apps usually think I'm catfishing myself, which is such an odd problem to have. So... After a couple of days of being on the app, honestly, I was just so overwhelmed. Have you used dating apps recently at all? No, not recently. It's just a lot of work. Mm. <laughs> like even just thinking about whether you want to sweat. And maybe it's just me. I overthink things. I'm like, this person has no information. Do I want to be shallow and swipe based off of how they look? Should I give them a chance? Should I? It's just too much decision making process. So I decided to delete the app. But before doing that, there was one guy whose profile I liked and we matched and we talked a bit. So I was like, hey, um, I'm deleting the app, but here's my number. You can text me. Ooh. Yeah, sheesh. You know, I made a little, <laughs> a little move. <laughs> I said, later, but text me if you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so he texts me. We get to talking, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, uh, let me take you out to dinner. I was like, okay. He's like, let me take you to Nobu. Ooh. I said, Okay. <laughs> if you don't know, Nobu's kind of like a fancy um, sushi place in LA. So we made plans for like four days later, but in between us like starting to text and our date four days later, this dude was mad texting me, like mad. And again, I know like it's not that big of a deal. You know, maybe he's just really interested, but I won't lie. It just felt a little eager to me like it just gave me bad vibes mm -hmm. of like this is not normal if like you just met someone you maybe don't ask them everything up through up front via text right. especially because to me i was like we have plans to like hang out in four days i'll get to know you then anyways so by the time the date night rolls by i'm like e i i'm not really feeling like going i've been kind of put off by all the things he has said over text i even tried to drop hints like yo, we not going to have anything to talk about at dinner if you don't stop asking me stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like it felt like an interview via text. Right. But um, he was like, we're going to be fine. I really didn't feel like going to the date, but I went anyways. I show up, he's uh, and I, I get seated at our table, and I'm like pleasantly surprised. He's like tanned, he's fit, he's like pretty attractive. I think he's like 29 or something. Um, we get to talking. We talk about everything on the face of the planet. Our past relationships, our expectations, literally family, marriage, um, religion, where we grew up, the languages, everything you could possibly imagine. And things were going like pretty well. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm pleasantly surprised. Is this what dating is like? Amazing. We're an hour and a half in a dinner and he starts telling me about his ex-wife and two kids. <laughs> two like, kids, huh? Two. Not even one of them. Two. How old were they? Do you remember? They were like, I think like four and five. Uh, so they're like a little grown up. They're grown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I was just like, you know, I did, you know which GIF I'm talking about. The one that's like this. <laughs> that. Um, and I had to process on the spot like, would I be okay with dating someone with kids? Like, what does that mean? Is, do I have an issue with it? Do I not? It was just like a lot to take in at once. But ultimately what I was really bothered by was just like 
how are you going to text me nonstop for four days? Tell me so much about your life, your business. Like I felt like I could interview at his company and like ace it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But then you don't mention your kids whatsoever until like all the way after. And I understand it must be hard for people with kids to date. Yeah. But I guess it's just my personal opinion that like I would be so much more attracted to someone if they were really upfront about it. They're like, I love my kids. I'm a great dad. As opposed to like, let me mention it later to try to like hook you in first. Yeah, because this was a couple of years ago. You were like 24? Oh, no, no. This happened This happened like within the last year. Last year? Yeah. So 24? So I was 24, yeah. Yeah, to, to kind of make that decision. I'm 24 years old. Am I going to be able Chicken. to be mm. essentially a surrogate mother <laughs> to a four yeah, or five year old? It's, it's a big decision to make. And I mean, if I was in his shoes... I would only want to be with someone that I knew would be okay with that. Mm -hmm. I feel like duping someone into it will just create like a foundation of uncertainty within the relationship anyways. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was just like an awkward situation. (laughs) All in all, like on my profile page, it's three photos of me and my cat. Right. And it's like on his, it's all just solo shots. (laughs) And on his Instagram, solo shots on, like he looks so single bachelor no kids whatsoever so yeah that's that was my one like random dating experience and since then it's been a little quiet but such is life (laughs) okay oh that's i didn't expect that because like you being able to tell a story because i wanted to tell this story in a short form and i still couldn't like i'm so that's as short as it gets (laughs) really though yeah it's i'm glad to see that you are a little more open with that because I think if you to- if you talked about dating like two, three years ago, I can imagine the reaction would be like, oh, Pokemon is like seeing other people. And then people will make fun of the Sims. They say, oh, all the Sims are going to unsubscribe. It's like, no, so, yeah. they're making up all these imaginary scenarios mm-hmm. and it's like laughing at it, right? Yeah. But like, it's just like drama for no reason. Yeah. Whereas like I am a regular 25 year old, just like any other one. Yeah. So cool. I'm glad. Um, I love hearing that story. <laughs> I will tell you many more stories then. 